with the new changes coming up for the striker in title blade 16 the changes that are right now on the pts phase 2 it has a lot of people talking about right right it has people complaining and has people saying it's just fine and other people saying striker did not need all of this so with that said uh, i want to go today's video and show you guys the build that i used to go through solo legendary on 36 minutes just chilling so let's go over this if you guys enjoyed this video a like would be super appreciated to support the channel and let's get this so striker have been one of the highest dps gear set that we have in the game as of right now for quite some time and uh, some people when i said that they laugh at my face kind of because you know i think they don't believe for them best dps just straight up pure dps which is fine but striker once you get it to the highest um amount of stacks it is technically one of the highest dps that you can have in the game now with these changes coming in title update 16 we have the fact that it's gonna get to 200 stacks which is even more damage but the problem is for a lot of people those stacks are hard to keep so with that said the conclusion that some people came up with is that striker from the new title blade 16 will be ruined compared to what we have right now and that's not the case so what i did is i put up a build that i'm gonna show you guys today and i went to legendary and i did it on the first try that i put that build on just as i was expecting but you know what's the problem the first problem is that people are just thinking about that 200 stacks they're thinking about putting the backpack and the chest piece so what i did i didn't put either the backpack neither the chest piece and i went with a built four, four piece striker without the backpack and the chest piece and i ran through this legendary without no problems so Shaka Battle Gear is a gear set that once you equip two pieces, it gives you 15% weapon handling. And then three pieces give you 15% rate of fire. Now, those two right there are very good stats that a lot of people slap on. The fourth piece, that's where the changes are coming for Title of Date 16. So Shaka Gamble, weapon hits increase total weapon damage by 0.65%, stacking up to 100 times. Now, before this update, with the four piece without the backpack, you would have 0.5% per hit and then it will stack up to 50 times just right there right there this set is better on this new update now the problem starts with the stacks that you get lost per second so two stacks lost per second between 0 and 50 stacks and then three stacks lost per second between 50 and 100 stacks right i wish on this part right here they just kept it at two stacks loss per second just like it was before i think right there they shouldn't touch that and that would be just fine and i would just use the fourth piece without the backpack and the chest piece just like i did on this build so those are the changes for the striker now i have four pieces equipped of it on this mask i have weapon damage attribute critical hit chance and then a mod of crit chance the second piece i'm gonna have it on the holster this one is gonna come with core attribute weapon damage and then attribute crit damage the third piece have core attribute armor and attribute crit damage and last but not least on the fourth piece of the striker on this build we have core attribute armor and then attribute crit chance on the knee pads now moving on for the chest piece this is where the problem starts right if you equip the chest piece of the striker right your stacks will increase from 100 to 200 but also the lost stacks per second will be a lot higher from four stacks lost between 100 and 150 and then five stacks lost per second between 150 and 200 stacks right so what i did is i didn't run the chest piece i went with the chest piece of fairness group a b with a 10 percent assault rifle that comes from the first bonus right what attribute weapon damage attribute crit damage and crit chance with a mod of crit chance now the talent in here will be obliterated obliterated will increase our damage by one percent for every stacks and we have a maximum stacks of 25 25 percent weapon damage for five seconds now a lot of people are gonna say why didn't you go with glass cannon you know 25 percent amplified damage well i know you guys would ask for that so i will show you the difference between obliterated and then also with a glass cannon which is amplified and we'll see that 
it's the same thing so before that let me show you the last piece which is gonna be the backpack and this one is no surprise for people that have been following me this is my favorite gear in the game memento backpack exotic core attribute weapon damage armor and skill tier it comes with the three of them and then attribute it does not have an attribute because we have three core attribute and then the, this one right here this is the mod we have six percent crit chance on the mod now the talent that makes it super good is the kill confirmed you kill enemies they drop trophy on the floor you pick up these trophies these trophies will give you five percent weapon damage uh ten percent bonus armor or five percent skill efficiency depending of how much you have of blue you know red or yellow that you have on the build not only that you get stacks you get a maximum of 30 stacks by picking up these uh, trophies so at the 30 stacks once you have the maximum of 30 stacks you're basically gonna have a 30 percent weapon damage 30 percent skill efficiency and a three percent armor regen for 300 seconds which means five minutes now for the weapons that i used on this build it was the police m4 and also the seek mpx mostly the police m4 is what i rely on this is the main weapon now the police m4 is actually my favorite assault rifle in the game but that's not a reason why i'm using it on this build now there is two weapons that can be better than police m4 on this build which is the famas and also the kingbreaker now you would ask me why I didn't use those well two reasons the famas would be great right because it has high rpm and that's what you need for a striker build with that said though that's why i did not use the king breaker which it has a decent amount of rpm right now after the strike above but that's not enough with that said so why i didn't use the famas because of famas you cannot equip the linked laser pointer and we need that linked laser pointer for this build i am using the flatline i could go with the in sync also it works just fine but i wanted to use with the flatline now i made a video explaining the difference between in sync and a flatline there is a point where in sync can be better and there is a point where flatline will be better on this build flatline is doing a little bit a little bit more damage for my build so i went with flatline instead for the mods i went with a five percent crit chance on the scope the c79 scope and on the under barrel as i said i went with a linked laser pointer now this is a laser pointer that you can obtain by equipping your specialization the technician on the muzzle we went with the five percent crit chance with the muzzle break 556 and then last but not least we went with a sturdy extender magazine that gives us a plus 20 rounds but minus 10 reload speed as i said i went with the secondary the mpx this is my favorite also my favorite smg but there is a reason also i use this one i could go with any other smg but the seek mpx has one of the best range on an smg and i want to stay away on a legendary mission right especially if you solo for the sidearm i have the busy little b but i don't really use it uh but this is gonna be the go-to sidearm that you're gonna see in a lot of builds this weapon will be super super strong as a sidearm to use in any other builds to give them damage so i didn't use it but i will have a review about this weapon for the specialization i went with the technician specialization as i said the reason why i'm using it is because of this right here on the far left uh, this is the link laser pointer that you can get by equipping the technician specialization what this does is basically it is a hundred percent pulse up time so when you aim at enemy with the, a weapon that has this link laser pointer that enemy will be pulsed now last but not least on the skills i went with the torah this is what i use the most on legendaries because when i throw the torah out there not only it's tanky to take some damage also it does some damage and also it aggros the enemy so those three reasons right right there that's the reason i use the torah the most and the second skill we went with crusader ballistic shield this is the shield that allows you to you know mitigate some damage and also allows you to do that blind fire even better now to finish off then show you guys the difference between obliterated versus the glass cannon so i hope you guys spot the difference on this video let me show you guys right now so right now we have the ferris group ab with the talent obliterated you see it's modified so i'm gonna change this after i show you guys the numbers so before actually let me show you the stats so you guys don't say i'm lying 56 strands 81 crit damage 75 headshot damage right and then we have that 10 percent armor uh, to target out of cover that's not showing in here right so 
And with that said, let's test this out. We have right there. Let's get the stacks all the way up. So, add max stacks, right? So, add max stacks. On the armor, 678,000, right? And then on the health, it will go up to 821 crits. Those are the damage. This one is right here. This is on the armor. This one will be on the health. As you see, I finish up on the health. So, let's go change this talent. Okay, now we are here, we got set up. That's the glass cannon, 25% amplified damage, right? Then let's check the stats, 56, 81, 75, and then we have that 10 uh, amplified damage from the target out of cover. We don't see it here. So that's with glass cannon. So let's see the damage. And I have to wait this sh the striker stacks to get up there also. And let's do one more just to make sure. Okay. So let's see. So we are having. Let's go all the way down, right? We are having on the health 818,678 on the armor, right? That's the health. That's on the armor. Now, tell me if I'm having that, right? Which is basically exact same as the obliterated. Why would I use a glass cannon that has 50% amplified damage coming towards me huh? on a solo legendary instead of using obliterated? Now with that said, I'm going to leave this video in here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your opinion about this striker. What you think? This striker is too strong. This striker is too weak. Where are you standing about this striker? So... Let me know all of that in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, hit me with a like. I would appreciate If you want to see the gameplay, I do have the gameplay on the channel. Uh, you can go watch that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.